Hello and welcome to class. Today we'll be looking at a three three in one topic when we'll be looking within the um field. So we want to look at first how we can move from shape file to future class in a geo database. And then also we'll be looking at how to move from a future class to shape file. And then we'll also be looking at lastly in the last video how to move from it is shape file of future class to a card. Let's say I want to open it on AutoCAD. So how you can do the three. So keep rolling in this three video series and be blessed. All right. So let's get start with the first one, which is moving from shape file to a future class. All right. So <clears throat> this is the future shape, shape files I have here. So I want to first create a geodatabase because that's, the database contains all the, it's more like a container that contains um, a whole lot of data in one. So now this, there are two ways of doing this, which I will all create them. I'll create a geodatabase. Okay, I'll just start with this one first. The first is to create a geodatabase. Then, You go on the uh, future, the shape files you want. I need all of these things to be uh, put into the this geo database here. So I will right click on AMAC and then export. Now I'm going to choose to geo database multiple. Now here I'm going to import the future class. Sorry, the shape files. Okay. So this is the shape files I want. So I'm going to start with hospital add because AMAC is already there. I go back hotels add. I go back um residential. I add. I go back um road. I add. I go back lastly. I have the supermarket. Then I add. Now, it's going to ask you for the output geodatabase. So our output geodatabase is Abuja. So add it to it. And then what it does is that all the, the coordinate system that these are having is what will be imported to it will be it will import with its uh, coordinate system so that's the uh, one of the methods so it's going to run through All right, so it's done importing it into a geodatabase. So if you enter our Abuja geodata, we'll see that all of them are, are being queued there. But then the second one, which is this one now, we have to use um, a future data set. So now still on this, we'll right click on the geodatabase and then we we'll go to future data set. Then let's say let's name it network network then we go next this time we're going to give it a coordinate system because creating a geodata network data sorry a data set it requires you to give it a coordinate system so that anything coming into it will have the same coordinate system now in this method 
or in this type let's go back to our hospital now we we'll start with amac now so this we we'll go to export and then this time around you we'll go to your database single meaning you are only exporting it one one so network will be where we are exporting it to then we okay oh sorry we need to give it a output so our output will be amac it's the admi the administrative boundary of uh, the abuja municipal area council okay what you say uh-huh Okay. Let's say Amac B boundary. I think it's saying the name has already exist. So let's say Amac boundary. Okay. So it's done. We go back. So this time around you're doing it one one. So hospital single again. And then network and then hospitals because i think it's also taking record of the ones that are on on the geodatabase i think so so we have um hotels so right click export to geodatabase single Okay, so we have hotels, though it's only one hotel. I'm just trying to distinguish with the name that's already there. Hotels. It's done. What else do we have? We have road. So let's do road. Right click, go to export to the database single. So and then here we have roads and then we okay so root is in existence let's try root okay root since there are very many roads it's going to take quite some time So the road has just finished. All right, so I think, okay, we still have quite a few, but then this should have illustrated to you how you can move from um, share file into a future class. Now, people move from this uh, data format for different reasons, okay? Some people maybe the work they are currently doing requires them to use a geo database or something like so they just want all their data to have harmony of another so i would just say in one word uh, harmony of data is one of the reasons why people move from one data uh, format to another so in case you are you're wondering how you can move from um future class and share file to future class here it is so we're we'll moving right next next into uh the next video we'll be dealing with how you can move from a future class back to chef files and then the next video will be moving from either future class or shape files to a card format all right so stay tuned for the next video and for now bye bye